we continue with sexual reproduction. Uh, in male is done, okay, but already learn the reproduction structure, spermatogenesis, structure of spermatozoa, and also the hormone regulation in male. And for female, same, we're going to start with female reproductive structure. So female reproductive structure, it has five important structures. <coughs> of male gamete okay next we have the ovary duct or called as fallopian tube so this is the location where the fertilization occur, occur. after fertilization occur then the zygote will move to uterus so uterus is the place where the embryo is developed Next, we have the cervix. Okay, cervix is the place where the mucus is secreted. Okay, to make sure the sperm able to survive in female reproductive tract. So the cervix going to secrete a mucus. Okay, and then the vagina. So our all structure is actually fine. Okay, ovary, fallopian tube or the oviduct, and then the uterus, cervix, and the vagina. Okay, after the reproductive structure, then we learn about process called ogenesis. Process producing female garment. F. Uh, I have mentioned that oogenesis take place in the ovary. So same goes in male. The process actually starts since fetus stage. So in fetus stage, we have primordial germ cell. What is the ploidy? Two n. Two n. So this primordial germ cell then undergo different stations to become ogonia. The ploidy is also 2N. So this ogonia then undergo mitosis to produce a large number of ogonia. And at the same time, ogonia also undergo different Session and will be onset of meiosis one. one. This time is actually at prophase one. The structure called primary oocyte. Okay, so all these things. Occur in fetus stage. So, at birth, what we have in our ovary at birth is primary oocyte. What is the ploidy? Try to think. What is the ploidy of primary oocyte? 2N. Why 2N? Yes. yes, because meiosis 1 is not complete. It just at prophase 1. So no division. Okay? So this primary side is still 2. When you reach puberty, what happened to your primary side? Meiosis uh, 2. It will complete meiosis 1. meiosis 1 and onset of meiosis 2 at this time it's actually in metaphase 
Now, the primary oocyte become secondary oocyte with first polar body. But what happened to the polar body? It will be generated. What is the ploidy of secondary oocyte? N. It is actually haploid. Why haploid? Because meiosis one already complete. complete. Next, this primary secondary oocyte it may undergo ovulation. What is ovulation? Process when the mature follicle bursts and release secondary oocyte to the fallopian tube. So we have two, uh, we have uh, dual kebaran kalian, two probability. The first one, not trigger by sperm. When the secondary oocyte not trigger by sperm, what happens to secondary oocyte? It will degenerate. But when the ovulation occur and the secondary oocyte uh, is transferred to ovida, and at the ovida it is triggered by sperm. So the secondary oocyte complete. May complete it will complete meiosis and become over over and second polar body. But what happened to polar body? Regenerate. Regenerate. So over is on the ploidy is N. also half the lot. Okay. So I repeat, this is a process called all genesis take place in the ovary. It starts since fetal stage where the primordial germ cell to end undergo differentiation become ogonium to N. The ogonium undergo mitosis to produce a large number of ogonium and at the same time undergo differentiation and an onset of meiosis 1. But the stage is at prophase 1. Since no division, the ogonium now become a primary oocyte. Since no division, the primary oocyte to Still end. in two n, okay. So at birth, our ovary will have primary oocyte. After we reach puberty, our primary oocyte will complete meiosis one and onset of meiosis two, but stop at metaphase one. So now the primary oocyte will have secondary oocyte. Okay, so the ploidy is N. Okay? Tadi saya kata apa? Metaphase 1. Oh, sorry, metaphase 2. two. So, the secondary oocyte is N. Okay, now we have the secondary oocyte undergo ovulation. The mature follicle burst and release secondary oocyte to the fallopian tube. So, I have two probabilities. Probability. Either the secondary oocyte is not triggered by sperm, it may degenerate and if triggered by sperm, the secondary oocyte will complete meiosis 2 and become ovary and produce second polar body. So the second polar body will degenerate. Yeah.